Hey everyone, Mac is back, continuing the Commander series with Merrill, Barrett, and Arsalan. Uh, three of the uh, very basic commanders, but uh, they do have a lot of value depending on uh, where you're going to be using them, so uh, let's get into it. Beginning with Merrill, he is, uh, for Rebel Leaders, is, is very good. Uh, he is a free-to-play commander, and he's someone that you're going to want to get to gold very quickly. Uh, because you're going to want to use him for the uh, uh, for the rebel leaders because of the amount of damage that he, his base damage he deals is over 8,000 plus his skill is um, almost 9,000 as well plus some of the other skills here do a uh, deal additional damage um, so he's uh, he's dealing a lot of damage for those rebel leaders so um, he's not going to be the tank he's just going to be someone you're going to put in that front line uh, flanking the tank so he's, he's really good in that respect uh, when it comes to his army he is cav health and cav attack at 30 percent which is really good for um if you are using a or if you're a free-to-play player that's some that's something that you're going to want to use he's what, what you're going to use um since he's not awakened yet um if you're a medium a low to medium spender you're probably not going to have him in, a, in your uh in your formation you may have him as a as a back line maybe and you could have him as a front line most people don't use cav as front line because the uh because they get shredded too, uh, they, they get to the battle too fast, so they get shredded very quickly when they run into the spears. However, um, if you do do that, if you do a you know a mono line of uh, just calves, then you're gonna have then he'll be a, a staple in that line for sure. Like I said, no awakening whatsoever um, in the tavern. And as you can see here in the tavern, he gives command and aptitude, so you're not gonna really want to upgrade him that much. I only have him to 26, as you can see, um, and the majority of my commanders are you know in the 40s and 50s at this point in the game uh, he does take wine and there are uh, quite a few commanders that they're going to use that wine um, you know if you just off the top of my head i'm thinking of like Tyrion, and i think even julian might do it as well there are a lot of other commanders so they're going to use you're going to use wine or drink for so uh, i would suggest that uh, don't upgrade him too much and when it comes to the training grounds he's He's pretty poor in there. I mean, you might want to use him if, you know, in a back line. If I guess you maybe you have, you're running into two infantry commanders and you need to do damage to them. The problem is going to lie is that, you know, his 20,000 health that he has, even at gold and maxed, uh, is very, very little. He's very weak. So when it comes to the attacks that'll, that'll be put on him, uh, he'll die very quickly. He does do a lot of damage, but the problem is, is like I said, that health and that defense, he'll die very quickly. Looking at his skills, uh, I already talked about the main skill, the Undaunted, at almost 9,000. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good still uh, skill with damage. Um, the next one adds uh, almost 3,000 attack and 30% control resilience for four seconds every seven seconds. So that's not bad either, having that uh, you know extra damage and control resilience. And, and the next one is unexpected strength and attacks have a chance to deal um, additional damage every target they don't tell you what the uh, chance is but uh, having 2,000 extra damage per you know under your adding under your attacks pretty good and evade and evade is actually since he's so weak it's actually bet it's actually that's actually not a, not a bad skill to have however if he's getting attacked your evade is not going to work that much unless it's like you know a thousand evade or something and he's not getting hit very much but uh in in most aspects he's really um not good when it comes to uh some of his skills and he's not good in the training grounds and next we're going to talk about barrett and looking at barrett for against rebel leaders uh, he is again another one that's really good uh he's he is a free to play in the sense that you have to get him through events and that is really good too um he, he's He's almost going to emulate uh, Merrill in a way. They're very, very similar with their weak health, their high base attack. Um, their skill that he does is actually very almost same damage, almost 9,000 damage. So he's very good against rebel leaders. Um, you, you're, you might not have him in there for uh, if you're like a, kind of a medium to a medium high spender because there are other commanders that do a little more damage than he does and have better skills. But some of his skills are actually pretty decent. We'll talk about them later. Uh, when it comes to the army, he has infantry health and infantry defense. So he doesn't have the attack which Merrill had. So he's a little bit weaker in that respect. But this is a good. But this would be a good frontline commander if you are free to play. If you're using infantry because of uh, because of that. And he has a stone production of 100%. So if you're creating a stone farm, 
and he's uh, clearly somebody you're going to want to get to gold as well. Uh, he is not awakened yet. Um, I, these other, these, a lot of these free to play are becoming uh, awakened soon enough. But uh, with that respect, let's get to uh, the tavern. And in the tavern, he is he had he does have combat rate, so you're going to want to upgrade him as uh, high as you can. You can see I have him, have him at 55. Uh, he does take drink, like we talked about with Meryl as well. That's another one of those parallels that they have to each other. So get him high, save save that, use the wine on Barrett instead of Meryl, because uh, you're you're going to be able to uh, get a lot more combat rate, a lot more power. Plus you'll get some extra troops in there too, which is just kind of a little side bonus. And when it comes to the training grounds, he again, very similar to Meryl again, he's, since he dies so quickly when he gets attacked, you're not gonna want him in there. Now, if it's a commander that's gonna give you, or there's a blessing that gives you an extra, like, you know, higher health or higher defense, or uh, maybe even just more attack uh, when it comes to like a melee uh, commander, then then I would say that he might be, he might have some value. And I say some, but it's still not that much. He's still really not that good. Uh, when it comes to his skills here, he attacks uh, have a 25% chance of causing a bleed, which deals 1,000 damage every second for 6 seconds, that's so 6,000 damage, and can stack up to 3 times, so that stacking is very, very good. And you can see here, he deals damage on a target in a straight line and lowers all heal effects. Okay, so and then uh, going down even further, um, for Barrett, more blood means more gold, adds more, 2, 000, almost 3,000 to attack and 150 strategy for 5 seconds every 5 attacks. So that's pretty good there. Every 5 attacks, you're going to get this, uh, this skill to go off. And then uh, five attacks later, which, you know, after a couple attacks, <clears throat> excuse me, he's going to give you, uh, you get right back into this. And then his, since his base attack is uh, already a 2,000, or I'm sorry, 8,000, add in another almost 3,000, so you're making over 11,000 uh, attacks. So it's pretty good for his, uh, his skills as well. So he, like I said, for, for the uh, rebel leader is very good, for the training grounds, not so much. And the last commander for t uh, this uh, series, this, this little series, is Arslan. So let's get into him now. And talking about rebel leaders, he is really, really good with uh, against the Cavlins. So you put him in there, uh, he's going to do a base attack of uh, 8,266, which is really good. When he gets his sand strike off, he launches three attacks on a target, and they deal 11,355 damage um, each. So um, that is over 33,000 damage, almost 34,000 damage. So that's over, yeah, it actually is 34,000 damage. That's, that's so, so much damage he's doing there. Plus he does uh, an additional uh, 3,785 damage when the target's health is less than 30%. So if he's very weak, if, the, if, you're, if you're doing like a second hit or a, um, you know, on a, on a rebel leader, then this is, gonna, this is gonna proc that and you're gonna get even more off. Um, then adds 150 to crit uh, for five seconds and restores an additional 500 might. Storing that might is actually really, really good too. So, because um, then he'll get a, get his uh, his skill off once more. Adds 3,401 uh, attack for five seconds at the start of the battle uh, for five seconds. So that's so initially he's going to do a lot more a lot of lot more damage as well. He's going to do over 11,000 damage there. Plus he's adding 150 to crit. So. His, uh, he's, he's very good in, uh, against those, against those, uh, rebel leaders, uh, so definitely, uh, definitely use him, uh, for them. His specializations, he has spear health and spear attack, so, uh, these three commanders that I'm talking about today are very, very similar. They're all free to play, they have the, uh, you know, either a, uh, a defense attack or health, one of these, just like, uh, him and Meryl have exactly the same thing, but he's a spear commander, so you're gonna want to use that. Another wood production, so he's good for uh, a wood farm if you're going to, you know, use that as well. Um, so it's good to get him to gold. And let's go to the Awakening. And his Awakening skill, in battle, every 8 seconds, Commander Arslan heals 2% of the wounded, uh, wounded for the ally troop with the greatest losses. So 2% uh, heal is um, every 8 seconds, and the battle lasts for 40 seconds, so you're talking about, uh, you know, talking about 5 chances to do uh two percent heal which isn't too bad again this is more for those uh free to play players if you're gonna you waken him you know you get him to the four stars if you can for like a two percent what i want to get him for this uh for this one for if you're free to play then i i might want to do this this is this is definitely a, has potential because of that heal effect and you don't have too many of those when it comes to uh, uh the free to play so that that might be something that you want to do uh, let's go get to the tavern 
And in the tavern, just like Meryl as well, command aptitude, not very good. And looking at what he takes, he does take wine, so he takes something to drink. And all three of these commanders have the exact same thing for that. So you're, what, you're not going to want to get him very high, as you can see. I have him at 27. Uh, basically, you want to get all your commanders to, you know, if you get him to maybe like around 20 to 30. I, try, I would try to get him to 20 no matter what, just to get the extra aptitude and command, whatever they have for you. Um, but yeah, him, he's not very good when it comes to uh, Tavern. And the same thing applies to the training grounds. Hey, see again, right around that 20, that 20,000 health uh, and not much defense. So he's really, they're really not that good when it comes to training ground because they die too quickly. Uh, you know, I already went over his skills kind of in detail there, talking about you know what's good, what's not. Uh, that sand strike is is just very, very massive uh, damage. You like these, and the other ones down here are are decent uh, contributors to that as well. So uh, keep him out of the training grounds. Put him against those cab rebel leaders. Use him as a free to play for fighting. Um, upgrade that awakening skill if you have the uh, medals as well. But uh, so we'll continue with uh, the next series next time out. So until next time, Mac out.